Zebra travel to the Arms Park, bottom of the table, and looking for their first points of the season. Coach Andrea Cabanato was happy with their first half performance against Munster the previous week before they fell away, and he was looking for his team to build on that platform. But Cardiff Blues have never lost at home to Italian opposition before, and significantly, Bill Davies was able to welcome Lee Halfpenny back into the team after his exertions with the Lions during the summer. Scoring tries has been a real problem for Blues so far this season, but they made a lightning start to this game. Just two minutes had elapsed when Rhys Patchell made a great break before releasing David Hewitt, who ran gleefully over the line to get the home crowd off their feet. Try number one, and it looked as if the floodgates may open. Alchemy converted, and it was 7-0 very early in the game. But to their credit, the visitors didn't lie down, and just before the quarter-hour mark, the Zebre Mall worked very well. The vastly experienced Mauro Bergamasco got over for the equalising try. Good work from the Italian side, Cardiff struggling to cope with the rolling mall, and when Luciano Orquera converted, it was seven points apiece. Orquera and Halfpenny then exchanged penalties to leave it 10 all at the half hour mark, before a further penalty from Orquera in the 35th minute sent Zebre in at half time with a narrow 13 points to 10 lead. This wasn't in the script for Cardiff, who were back on level terms soon after the break through the boot of Halfpenny. But the visitors continued to give as good as they got, and a lovely drop goal from Orquera in the 47th minute edged Zebre back into a 16 points to 13 lead. Again, Halfpenny was on target to bring it back to 16 all but Blues weren't having it all their own way by any means. After a raft of substitutions for both sides, Halfpenny struck another penalty to put Cardiff 19-16 ahead on 63 minutes. Again, you might have expected the home side to drive on from there, but in the 66th minute, it was Zebre who struck. David Odiete, making his first start of the season for the Italians, got over for a well-worked try. Clinical finishing by the Zebre back line, Ocaro converted, and they were 23 points to 16 ahead. Before the game, Blues coach Phil Davies warned his players not to underestimate Zebre, so the Italians' threat wasn't a complete surprise. Halfpenny narrowed the gap to just a point in the 68th minute with that penalty. But four minutes later, the game was up for Blues. Zebre scrum half, Brendan Leonard, skated over for a potentially match-winning try. Orquera with the offload, and the Kiwi, who had been impressive all night, got his reward. Orquera converted to put eight points between them, with just eight minutes remaining. Five minutes from time, substitute prop Luca Redolfini was sent to the bin for transgressing, right under the referee's nose. The game finished rather controversially, with Redolfini off, Daniel Cristolini came on to complete the front row, but nobody left the field in his stead while the scrummage occurred. We may hear more about that in the coming days. Halfpenny put over the final score of the match, leaving it 30-25 in favour of Zebre. But when the full-time whistle blew, there was no denying Zebre's sheer delight. A first-ever Rabo Direct Pro 12 win for the Italian side. It's been on the cards for quite a while, but an historic night for them. It doesn't get any easier for Blues, who are away to Leinster next time out. Final score at the Arms Park, Cardiff Blues 25, Zebre 30.